Hey there LEGO fans, welcome back, Alex here. In this video, we are taking a look at a couple of LEGO parrots. Right here, we have the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Exotic Parrot. That's been out for a little while. And we also have the newly announced Exotic Pink Parrot. And as far as I can tell, the only difference between these two birds is the color of the bricks in which they are built with. So Lego sent me the exotic pink parrot for review. It is set number 31144, contains 253 pieces, and will retail for 20 US dollars. It will be available to purchase as of August 1st. Now, when I first saw the images of this set, I immediately thought of the exotic blue parrot, which is set number 31136, which has an identical piece count and price tag. Both sets are from the Creator 3-in-1 theme and offer two alternative builds. And yet again, the alternative build for each is the same. We have a fish and we also have a frog. The only difference again is the color of the pieces. It seems LEGO will be selling these two sets alongside each other for the foreseeable future. What this means to us is we get to choose between blue or pink, or as LEGO would prefer, just get both. Now, like I mentioned before, the build on both of these sets is identical. The build for me went very quickly. I think it only took me 15, maybe 20 minutes to put the pink one together. Now, the piece count is high for a $20 set, but make no mistake, they are all very small pieces. The set offers a little movement. The wings can be adjusted. You can kind of swing them forward and backward, but you can't really spread the wings out as if the parrot is about to take flight. Now the tail also adjusts up and down. Other than that though, the set is quite rigid. The blue parrot is actually not mine. I am borrowing it from my friend Jason from Jason's Bricks in Fives YouTube channel as I wanted to compare the two for this review. Now, I don't think it will come as any surprise, but I do prefer the blue parrot, but not because I have anything against the color pink, but rather because I would want to pair it with the Captain Redbeard minifigure tribute set. This is how my friend Jason has displayed his, and it seems to fit better with the blue parrot. Even though the pink one is identical, it doesn't quite fit with the theme of Captain Redbeard. Regardless, this is just my preference because I happen to have that set. I am sure this little bird would look good next to other sets or perhaps by itself. Now I'll say this about the birds, even though they seem top heavy, they keep their balance pretty good. I mean, check that out, not bad. Now don't get me wrong, if you wanna knock them over, you can knock them over and chances are they'll break a wing, but check this out. Look how easy it is to put that back together. So even if you have kids that are rough with them, it'll be super easy to put them back together. Relatively speaking, I'm guessing their heads might get knocked off if they're falling off a high spot. But regardless, I think the Lego Group's ploy, if it is a ploy anyway, to get me to buy the blue one has worked because I really like uh, how it looked next to uh, the Captain Redbeard minifigure tribute. So I'm probably gonna have to do that. But you know what? I got this one too. I'll, I'll, I'll park her next to him as well. Not bad. Uh, but I definitely want to know what you guys think about these parrots. I think they're uh, they're nice enough. They don't have uh, any kind of buildable pieces with them. They're all very tiny, specialized slope elements. Uh, so there's not really much you can do with them. Um, but they do make a pretty good looking parrot. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.